Good afternoon, everybody. On YouTube, it's Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Hey guys, talked about a couple of videos back about the mystery tapes that we got off eBay. Three of these most likely are Ampex Type A machine or a Type C ballpark. This, these three particular tapes of the IVC color machine, machine that I got there and there, and the one I got in my studio area. I get people say, "What do you do with the tapes when you get them?" What do you mean by baking your videos? I always get this. I, I always laugh when I read my emails and people say, what do you mean by baking videotapes? What do you mean by baking them? All right. Baking is a term for getting the glue binder back to stability, stable. That's what causes sticky tape through the machine. When you try to play these, the tapes will lock up because the glue binder is starting to break down on these. It's called sticky tape syndrome where the material and the oxide will actually start sticking in the machine. All right, what I mean by bacon, everybody asks is, what do you mean by bacon tapes? All right, these are uh, Carex. These are very bad. These are sort of like Ampex as well. They, they get very, very sticky. And of course, the Ampex and the Memorex tapes are just as bad. When you bake tapes, I recommend a very high professional food dehydrator. The one that I use, I actually got four of these. This is the one I got in my home. This is a food dehydrator that you can get off eBay, uh, stainless steel. It's got temperature controls on the very top of it. And you want to remove one shelf in between each shelf. So you have enough room to get these tapes in there and you got enough room. So basically all you do is take a couple of these tapes and uh, get them in there. So basically you're gonna, you want to get the tape, you want to get them on the shelves as much fast as best as you can uh, because they're very big these they're not small reels guys these are big reels so you want to get them all in there but they have to be baked and I'm gonna take a look at these real quick because they are mystery tapes we don't know what the hell is on these um, so that's gonna be a very big plus uh, these particular ones are TV shows without a doubt I can't wait to see what's on these these I could play right away these are done on the IVC I do have that machine handy. Um, but like I said, guys, when you bake tapes, it doesn't mean you bake them. You basically take a food dehydrator, and what that does is it resets the glue binder on the tape so the tape can play. The glue binder is what's breaking down. So when the, when the glue binder breaks down, you're going to have problems. Sometimes you got to get them in there. It's not an easy thing, guys, because sometimes they're so big. You don't need to have a room for them. This is designed for like quad videotape and um, one inch tapes, but not many of them. You only have so many shelves that you can fit this stuff on. That's why I got four or five of these machines. And basically that's all you do. You put the, the, the close the lid on it, high temperature. You let them bake 15 hours. I, I, I just let these things run for like two or three days because these tapes are so sticky. But this is what you want to do. This is called baking tapes, guys. Does not mean throw them in an oven or any of that crappy shit. You don't need to do that. All you need is a high temperature adjustment food dehydrator. It sucks the moisture out of them and it actually heats up the glue binder and it resets it. So the tapes are like new when they were manufactured so you can get them through your machine. That's what they call baking your videotapes. Well, we're gonna be able to do those IVCs and Ampex, but I wanna let these bake for two or three days and we'll do an attempt on some transfers on those. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.